Here we go. Time to change. Jiu Jitsu class starts it off. Everyone, neutral stance, position, and set. Courtesy, student creed number one. I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth and my physical health. Number two, I intend to develop self discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and in others. Number three, I intend to use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man and never to be abusive or offensive. Courtesy, oh, excellent job team. We're gonna start off with the Shihan Dun workout, warm up, what I call the Shihan Dun warm up. So we're gonna hit 10 jumping jacks, 10 squats, drop down to 10 push ups, and then we're gonna do crunches until I say stop. Ready, together, 10 jumping jacks. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten push ups with me. Ready? One, two, full range. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then flip over crunches. We're going to go for about 20 seconds. Three more. One, two, three. Pop right back up. Jumping jack set of 10 with me. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, full range push up, set of 10. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Flip, crunches. Ten and egg beaters. Go. Decide which way you're going and make circles. Remember the circles go this way more than this way. This is bicycle riding. This is egg beating. And then go the other way. I'm bringing my heels down to the center. Get your hips moving. Open them up. So you get your legs flat. Switch again. And once more. And time. All right, so as we go into this first drill, if you happen to have a chair close by that you can use, that's good. Or if you have the counter of something that you can use, ideally it's something lower like this, right? If I have nothing, then I could certainly just use the ground and do this drill here, or if I happen to have my body opponent bag, aka Bob, I can use him, right? So here's what's happening. I'm going to use my hands, and it's kind of like I'm using my hands to keep him down, and I'm working to get around him at the same time, right? As you do this, I want your hands and your, most of the weight in your hands, and my feet are just staying light and I'm moving around. Light, and then I'm moving around. If I don't have Bob, just slide him out of the way for a moment. Then again, I'm using the chair, or my hands are on the ground, right? So, one minute. Ready, get set, go. So you're gonna go one side, and then you bounce around to the other side. Back to the other side, back to the other side. And you're just moving your hands as you need to, so that you can keep moving. Side to side. Back over. Keep it working. Halfway there, 30 seconds to go. Ten. 
10 more. Come on, make a couple more trips from one side back to the other. And then back again. Back one more time. Good, and time. Quick breather. All right, so the next one. We've done sit outs before, where we've done from our hands. Today, we're gonna do them from a plank. So we've gone this way before, where we sat out and brought this other hand up. Only this time we're gonna stay close. And this would be, again, if I use my buddy Bob. Come here, Bob. He doesn't like to slide very easy. The motion is like I'm here and I have to sit out and I wanna be able to keep my weight on top of him, right? So if I were doing this where I was passing, I wanna be able to sit through with my weight low. And instead of feeling I have to be way up here, right? Roll you out of the way. So on our forearms, forearm plank, and what I'm doing is I'm going to bring the leg through and then back, through and then back. And you can go ahead and let it touch, right? You don't have to try and hold it up in the air. You're just going to reach through, tap your toe. Reach through, tap your toe. Ready? One minute. Go. Reach, touch. Reach, touch. Reach, touch. Reach, touch. So you can keep both elbows on the ground as you're doing this. Get down there. Stay tight to the ground. Keep your weight on your forearms. Get up on that one. 15 more seconds. And time. All right, next one. We're gonna do um, knee on belly switches. So yeah. we're gonna go around our partner. Okay, this way. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing my, excuse me, um, I take that back. We're gonna switch and then go to the back side. So you're gonna switch. Uh, now let's just do the regular switches first. So I go here, I step all the way around, and then I bring this foot back over the top of his head, right? So I switch, my knee goes to the ground, the other foot steps over. Without Bob, here I step around them, and my foot steps back. We're not using hands for this one. This is all knees. One minute, go. Step, step back around. In, step back around. In. Step back over, and step back. Bringing in, step around with the other leg. He comes in, around with the other leg. In, around with the other leg. In, and back. In, and then back. Oh, I almost lost my balance on that one. In, and then back. I had to fight to keep it. In, back, get foot on the ground. It didn't move the way it was supposed to that time. In, and then back. Just keep going. Come on, 10 more seconds. In, back. In, back. In, back. All right, so now we're going to make that one. Uh, actually, I'll give you a little bit of a break so you're not burning your knees out, right? So now the next one, all we're going to do is go from push up position, pop up knee on belly, back down to the ground. Pop up the knee on belly, back down to the ground, right? Last round, 30 seconds, explosive push-ups into knee on belly. Or should we do it for a full minute? Let's do a full minute, ready? So we start with our hands on the ground and go. Pop up to knee on belly, come back down. Pop up to knee on belly, come back down. Pop up to knee on belly, and then back. Pop up, and then back. We'll do 30 seconds on this side. And then we're going to switch to the other side. Pop up, and then back down. Pop up, back down. Pop up, back down. Pop up, back down. Pop up, back down. Let's switch and go to the other side now. So now my other knee's coming down. Ready? 
Hop up. And now my other knee is down. Push, push up. Knee and belly. Pop up. Knee and belly. Try to make it. Hands. Push your whole body up to where you're exploding up. All right? Push. Those hands to push you off the ground hard. Push. One more. And time. We have enough for one last drill. We're gonna do crazy legs again. It's a great drill for learning to replace the guard. So crazy legs was, I reach over, and then this leg comes out, and then I go over. This leg comes out, and then I go over. This leg comes out, and then over. Ready, get set, and go. Out and around, out and around. Push, push, keep those legs moving. Out and around, out and around, out and around. Halfway there. See if we can do it backwards, but really just go back into it. Fifteen more seconds. Let's go faster. It's ten seconds. And time. Then right back up. We're actually down on our knees. The end of jujitsu class. Jitsu bow. Triangle. Hand on the ground. Ooh. Hope you guys are looking as sweaty as I am already. All right. Advanced kicking time. So last week we did cartwheels, not cartwheels, we did handstands. This week we're doing cartwheels. Just fix myself here. All right, so from here, cartwheels, we're gonna start off as a monkey roll, right? And we've done this before with cartwheels. I'm just simply gonna take my hands, I go hand, hand, foot, foot, right? So let me just get my shelf out of the way, including Bob. All right, so once again, we're gonna put left side is forward, or right side, doesn't matter, however you wanna look at me right now. This is my right foot. I go, let's see, let's do it this way. Let's do it as if we're in class together. So you're behind me, I'm facing this way, we're both doing cartwheels the same way, we're going that way. We're gonna alternate back and forth. So your right foot is on the ground, you're gonna put your right hand on the ground, and you're gonna spin and look away from me for a moment, as you put your left hand on the ground, and then your left foot, and then you're here. So everybody just watch again. I have left foot, left hand, right foot, right, or right hand, right foot. All right, go. So now you're on this side. Let's go back. Right hand, left hand, left foot, right foot. And I don't know if you can see that line very well. So here's this line. My goal is to try and stay on this line, right? So I go left hand, left foot, left hand, right hand, right foot, left foot. Now I go back, right hand, left hand, left foot, right foot. And then I go back again, left hand, right hand, right foot, left foot. And then I go back again, right, left, left, right. Keep practicing that just for a moment. Even if you're really good at cartwheels, do them sloppy for a minute, it's fun. Keep going, go. So right now, you're just monkey rolling. One side, and then the other side. If you're really good at them, pick a line, and see if with a monkey roll, you can land line, 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 line. Line, 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 line. Line, line, I missed the line, line. Line, 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 line. Keep going, let's see how awesome you guys look. Keep going, keep going. That's it. Good, Samira. Say Jackson. Hey, Annika's here. Hi, Annika. Nice job, Annika. Talon's in the house. Nature's in the house now. That's it. All right, so time. So now let's start extending our cartwheel a little bit. 
if getting your feet up over your head makes you nervous, then stay with the monkey roll. And even with the monkey roll, I can start lifting the monkey roll up some, right? So I'll move forward a little bit. You may not be able to see my hands as well, but now instead of the monkey roll just being low where my feet are close to the ground, I'm gonna put more weight on my hands and start getting my feet up a little higher, right? Weight on my hands, my feet come just a little bit higher, right? And each time, I'm just trying to go a little higher, right? And then I come back, a little higher, all right? I come back, a little higher, right? So each time, you're just trying to get them a little higher. Go. See how amazing these cartwheels are looking. Natra, nice. Straighten both legs out. There you go, just don't run into the wall. Straight, straight. Nathra, straighten out your second leg. Your first leg is perfectly straight. Your second knee is bent as you come through. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, okay, go ahead. There you go, that was better. That was better that time. Annika, really nice extension. Talent, straighten those legs out a little more. There you go, that's what you're capable of, nice. There you go, Olivia, nice, good work. Oh. All right, so if you have your car wheels down well, then start working on a one-handed cartwheel, right? If I'm doing a one-handed cartwheel, easily enough, I just simply use one hand, right? So as I do it, I have to make sure I land on the proper leg first. I think this one is the right one. So what I want to do, actually, let me do a regular cartwheel first. I go this way, yes. No, I let this one try to go. All right, go that way. Okay, I can make that one work. All right, so as I do, one-handed cartwheels, right? My one hand, my first hand is gonna go on the ground. My second hand, I just don't touch, right? If you wanna keep it on your chest, that's probably a safe place for it, just because if you do need to get it out quickly, I can quickly get it away. If I go tuck it behind my back to get it all the way in the front of my face, if I miss, isn't gonna happen, my face hits the mat. So just keep it on your chest if you wanna try and do it with one hand, or keep it close by your face where you can quickly catch yourself. But all you're doing is simply, I just use one hand now, right? So one hand goes down, and then I do the cartwheel over the top, right? If you're still working regular cartwheels, just work them. One more minute, and then we add in kicks. Go. See if any of my peeps have one-handed. Siobhan, nice. Straighten your legs out a little more. Ah, get those legs straight. Let's see. Oh, I missed Andres. I just saw the end. Matthew, that was a good cartwheel. Got to work the landing a little bit. Gustav will get out of her way so I can see her. See Andrea go. Pretty good. Just get your legs a little straighter up. Andrea, straighter up. When you're coming up, your legs are this way a little bit, right? So you want to get a little bit more straight. It was better, they were upright more, now just straighten them out some. All right, so everyone time. So now, whatever level you're comfortable at with your cartwheels is fine. We're gonna start adding kicks into that. So now it's gonna be, I throw my kick, and then I go into a cartwheel, straight. And then again, I do the same thing back on this side. So I throw my kick, I hit, and then right off of the kick, I go right into my cartwheel, right? Um, as you're doing it, it could be a back leg, could be a front kick, right? And I would stick, actually just stick with front kicks for a moment, just to make these. Back leg front kick plant back, and then I do my cartwheel. Ooh, that was a little bit rough. Back leg front kick plant back, and then I do my cartwheel. All right? Three, two, one, go. Let's see who has that one. Let's see how crazy we can make this. Kick, Kai. <laughs> Don't run into any chairs. Are you still alive, Ashan? Oh, good. He's moving. <laughs> Pay attention to your surroundings, brother. Let's see. Okay. 
Sick. Ready with the cartwheel. Go, commit. <laughs> legs a little more upright, Samira. Samira, legs a little straighter to the ceiling. You're crooked this way just a little bit. Try and get a little straighter. Nathaniel, that first kick comes up really strong. That first leg's really strong. Your second one's really bent. I don't know how much room you have, but that might be part of it too. Siobhan, that was a really good one. All right, time. All right, so now we'll make it a little bit more challenging. So now you're going to go back leg roundhouse kick in your cartwheel. So I do my back leg kick, and then whatever leg I kicked with, that hand goes first, right? So then from here, I would go right hand, left hand, left foot, right foot. And now I come back the opposite way, all right? Or actually, I'll end up coming back the same way if I do it that way. So your choice, you can either do it the same way or you can switch your stance on this side and now do the opposite side. I go back like roundhouse kick, right into my cartwheel, and then I'm here, right? But try and see if you can get it to be smooth. So you're trying to go, uh, let me do it with this leg. So I'm trying to be able to go kick right into my cartwheel, right? So let's see how it works for you. Go. Kick right into the cartwheel without running into walls. Off of the kick plant forward instead of backwards. Jackson, that was exactly it. Straighten those legs right out. Let's see it. Pa, right into the kick. Sammy, nice work. Let's see. Matthew, there you go. You're getting it. That, that landing's much better now. There you go. Come on, Andrea. Let's go. I'm waiting on you. There you go. That was much better extension with your legs, too. There you go, Jackson. Much better. That cartwheel's getting better every time I see it. Nice talent. <laughs> Almost. All right, Talon, here's your challenge. Roundhouse kick, cartwheel stop midair in a handstand, and then keep going. Kick. <laughs> Love it. There you go. There's your challenge. Keep it going. Pause and then go. Oh, but you got to finish the cartwheel. You can't fall forward. Cartwheel. Finish it. At a boy. And time. All right. So before we run out of time, spinning kicks into cartwheels, right? So now I go spinning hook kick. Off of the spinning hook kick, I throw a cartwheel. Uh, which, sorry, doing it that way is not for me. Let me try this way. So I go spinning hook kick. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Spinning hook kick. I'm gonna land right into my cartwheel, and then I would come back, right? Spinning hook kick, right into my cartwheel, and then I go back again. See how you do with it. Go. Spinning hook kick into the cartwheel. Spinning hook kick, cartwheel with a pause. Ha, <laughs> nice tailing. Nature, do you have enough room in there? You look like you're in a hallway. <laughs> Let's see, who else do we have? Tom the Bomb, Matt. Oh, where'd you guys show up from? Nice. Nice, Maya, where'd she go? Did you fall? <laughs> Are you guys all falling? I should see your heads come back up after. See, that was a little better. Oh, straight those legs out, Maya. Let's see it, Olivia. Olivia, do it off of a spinning hook kick. I missed the hook kick, though. You were out of the frame. Spinning, and now go right into it right there. Yes. Ha, <laughs> kick those legs up, though. But that was the motion I want. That a girl.
Nice, Matt. Come on, come on, a couple more seconds. I'm seeing a lot of standing and wound and waiting out of some of you. Nice, Andrea. But just extend your legs a little bit more, both on the hook kick and on the cartwheel. <laughs> Gustavo, land, buddy. Five more seconds. That was much better, Andrea. And time. Excellent work, team. So cartwheels, sorry, into kicking. The key thing first, of course, is the cartwheel and making sure you have that down. And watching for most of you, probably the biggest thing I'm seeing is just that commitment to straighten your legs out when you're going with your feet over the top of your head, right? Being able to commit to having them extended while you're upside down. And it can be scary at first. And that's where the monkey roll comes in. And you just want to keep practicing and practicing and stick the landing. Don't be lazy and say, well, I fell, but it didn't hurt, right? The most important part of jumping is landing, right? If you don't have the landing there, that's bad. Imagine if you knew how to fly a plane, but you don't know how to land, right? Same thing with cartwheels. I want to make sure I get that landing down. All right, let's have some fun. Grab your commas. Not that that wasn't already fun. Renchi. Yes. Hi, Renchi. This is Pam. Can you let us in so Michael can do this, please? Oh, there we um, are. Yeah, yeah, I can see. We're good. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Comma practice. So we're starting off with the basic chops. So you're coming. This way, cross, bah, chop, 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 chop. We're just gonna do the one hand for right now. We're gonna go about 15 seconds with one hand, 15 to the other, we're gonna do this a couple of times, right? Think the accuracy, angle, 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 right? And then left hand 45 chops, right? So picture yourself or just whatever, and I'm chopping from one side to the other, with 45s, right? Chop, 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 chop. And then switch again, left hand, or this hand, whichever hand this is, this is my right hand. Might be your left hand if you're mirroring me. Chop, 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 chop. That's it, keep it going, and then right hand. Or other hand, whichever the other hand happens to be. Keep thinking you guys are mirroring me, so I just say it opposite. Good, and now 15 seconds, both hands in. Without banging commas together like I just did. They're not crossing, these are just single-handed chops. We're gonna do chopping with both of them in a second. All right, so now from here, I chop in, and then I chop across, in, across, in, across. I am crossing the arms now. One hand goes over and then under, right? So I'm using my, what my right hand is, this is your left hand, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, chop, chop. But it's still like I'm hitting 45s, 45s, but one's a little bit higher, one's a little lower. Try and get them as close as you can without hitting them, right? Chop, 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 chop. Almost there, a couple more seconds, and time. All right, so now let's go to the over, under chops this way. So if I count my left hand, my right hand, your left hand, under, over, under, over, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. Full range chops. We're doing it for form right now. And then we're gonna do a 15 second speed check in about five seconds. Four, three, two, 15 second speed challenge, go. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Trying to keep the blades flat as you can. All the way out, all the way back. Five more seconds, five, four, Three, two, one, time. Let's go to the other side. So now I'm going under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Just get this wired in your body so you don't really have to think about what you're doing, but your body just automatically does it, right? Speed challenge in five, 
four, three, two, one, and go. 15 second speed challenge. Full extension on both hands. Five more seconds, five, four, three, two, one, time. <sighs> finger roll time, right? So single-handed finger rolls over the finger, over the finger. Nice and slow, going backwards. Feel the comma on the finger the whole entire time, right? As you're doing this, should be constant contact with the finger, the index finger, this pointer one, right? As opposed to I throw it and spin it. Should feel that contact the whole entire time. Then if you really want to get good at weapons, one of the things that I like to do is this. Close your eyes. Can you close your eyes and feel the weapon and know right where you're at every single time, right? Feel the grip. See, so there's the top of the grip tape. Yep. All right, feel where you're at. If you don't know where you're at, then suddenly your eyes are closed and this happens. <laughs> right? Pay attention to where you're at. Notice that I knew exactly where I was, that's the reason my hand went there, right? And now let's go to the left hand, or the other hand. My left, might be your right. Eyes are open first. Feel the comma all the way around your finger. You should feel the contact the entire time. Be very conscious of that, right? These little details are would help you to get better and stronger with your weapon handle. I should know where my weapon is at all moments, right? And then eyes are closed. Ooh, that one was tough. My thumb got in the way. Almost missed it. If you're not catching it every time, by the way, should you close your eyes? The answer is no, just in case you were all were wondering. Couple more seconds. And now both hands, extend both arms out, double finger rolls. Oh, lost one. And that was with my eyes open. I didn't have them closed. Now I'm balanced. I dropped one with the left, one with the right. All right, so now underneath finger rolls, alternate. Right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand. Under the palm, finger roll, right? The finger roll is the same. My hand positioning changes. And I have to be a little quicker. Here I can kind of go slow and let it just roll over my finger. If I do that with this one, I may still catch it, but there's a good chance it may fall before I get there, right? And you can see I'm actually having to drop my hand to go with it. If I don't, then it drops. Underneath, alternate, right, left, or left, right, whichever way it happens to be for you. Circle under, circle under, circle under, 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 oops, missed that one. All right, so now here's another little trick. Instead of, oops, I put too much wrist on that one. Instead of using the wrist to snap it back, I'm gonna actually use the, the momentum of my hand moving. So I open my hand first, open my hand first, and then get it to go. Open the hand, get it to go. Open the hand, and then get it to go. It's a little more challenging, but it really helps you to feel the comma a little bit more than just flicking the wrist. Flicking the wrist, it's already moving. That was too much wrist pain. And that one I didn't catch, right? So instead of having momentum, it just makes it a little tougher. I open, and then I use my finger to try and get the momentum of the comma, right? Open, and then catch. Open, and then catch. Open, nope, open, catch. Open, If it seems like my comma is floating just a little bit, it's because I'm magic. Or I'm using my finger to curl underneath my comma and then I use the momentum. <laughs> now 
Now both at the same time. You want to just go back to the momentum side of things you can. When that happens, it's usually not. Both drop that time. I'm getting really good at dropping them. A lot of times when I drop them, though, it's because I put too much wrist action. Instead of not enough, it's because I tried to flick really fast and they kept going and I missed the catch, right? Almost so it's like instant. Boom, they're right back there which is where you start being a little, I almost got it. Where you start going almost to where you do two, right? One, two, no, that was only one. That was still only one, just really fast. All right, so um, now palm on the top. Actually, I take that back. We're gonna go this way because otherwise we're gonna run out of time. Over the right shoulder, over the left shoulder, right? One palm is up, one palm is down, but it's a little bit of an angle. So double spin to this side, double spin to that side. Going double spin, lost that one. Double spin, double spin, double spin, double spin, double spin, double spin. One side and the other, one side and the other. That left hand just likes throwing stuff at me, I guess. It has a mind of its own today. Huh. And now it's yelling at me mostly. All right, so now we're gonna do double chops. You're gonna go chop, chop, double spin. Chop, chop, and try and actually do three of them. So you can go one, two, three, double spin to the other side. One, two, three, double spin to this side, right? Chop, 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 double spin to the right. Chop, 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 double spin to the left. And let's train that one for a minute, ready? Ooh, I lost that one. One, two, three. Three, spin. One, two, three, spin. Oh. I'm losing control as I come to the spin, right? Still feel the commas in both hands on the finger. That's it. One, two, three, feel the comma. One, two, three, feel the comma. One, two, three, feel the comma. Pop, pop, pop. One, two, three, roll and drop. One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, roll. That's it. One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, roll. Had bad position to begin. One, two, three. One, two, three, One, two, three roll. All right, so now let's go to the flat chops again. We're going to go chop, 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 roll on the way back, right? One, two, and then spin it as you come back. One, two, spin as this one chops. Chop, chop, spin. Chop, chop, spin. Spin on the way back. One, two, three, spin. One, two, three, spin. One, two, three, spa, spin. One, three, spin. One, two, 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 three. Oh, didn't have good position. One, two, three, spin. One, two, three, spin. One, two, three, spin. All right, so now after the spin, we're gonna go seven cuts. So you're gonna go one, two, three, spin on the way back, seven cut, seven cut, all right? So if I'm facing this way, one, two, three, spin back, seven cut, seven cut, right? One, two, three, spin, seven, seven. One, two, three, spin, seven, seven. One, two, three, spin, seven, seven. It's almost behind my back, or behind my next spin. 
spin, seven, seven. One, two, three, spin, throw, seven, seven. Looked like it was gonna hit the wall. Spin, seven, seven. One, two, three, spin, dropped it. Seven, seven. And then out for the second seven cut, spin through chop. And this is where we go one, two, and then you're gonna roll into this strike, right? So only two on the double strikes. So we just have a couple more seconds. So we go, I'll turn this way. One, two, spin, seven cut, seven cut. Spin through chop around the head. Oh no, doubles, one, two, double spin, drop, and then strike, right? So as if I'm in class with you, when we have our left side forward, do it with your other side forward you have. So we're set, one, two, three, spin on the way back, seven cut, seven cut, spin through chop, double chop, double chop, double spin, strike, right? And we do it again, ready? One, two, three, spin, seven cut, seven cut, spin through chop, Double strike, double strike, double spin, chop. Right? I do it facing you, but we go backwards. Right? I go one, two, three, spin, seven cut, seven cut, spin through chop, double chop, double chop, double spin, strike. Right? One more time. Ready? And go. Spin, seven, seven, spin through chop, 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 double roll. I messed it up, right? Very nice. Chop. Uh, I can't end on that one, sorry. We have to do it one more time. Just like when in video games and you guys die and you're like, I can't believe I died there, I never die there, I have to do it one more time. Same thing, ready, go, one, two, three, spin, seven, seven, spin through chop, double chop, double spin, ah! Okay, that was much better that time. Nice work today, team. Thank you for hanging out and playing with sticks and with jujitsu, or not sticks, comments.